Cement, as we all know, is a binder in the production of mortar and concrete. This mass product is cheap and strong. It has become an indispensable product for modern society. Not only would our homes and offices cost more to build, but also our infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, would be more expensive. The main raw material for cement is limestone. In the Dutch cement plant in Maastricht, limestone is extracted from a nearby limestone quarry. After transport to the cement factory, it is transformed into raw meal by crushing, drying with flue gases from the cement kiln and grinding together with sand, fly ash and an iron component. In the 180 meter long rotary kiln, the raw meal is heated up to 1450 degrees centigrade. This heat is produced by a flame of 2000 degrees centigrade. In the kiln, a process known as calcination takes place. The end result of this chemical process is a stony granular semi-finished product called clinker. After cooling and storage, the clinker is grinded together with other materials like fly ash, blast furnace slag, and limestone to achieve the final powdered product known as cement. The cement is stored and prepared for the transport in bags or as bulk in trucks and ships. Production of cement is a very energy-intensive process with high CO2 emissions. To reduce energy consumption, a modern cement production plant has high efficiency burners and uses waste heat to dry raw materials. Constant control of the production process guarantees an efficient use of natural fuels. To reduce dependence on natural gas, the Dutch government has supported diversification of energy sources and stimulated the use of alternative fuels. Het energieverbruik van de cementoven van Ensi is het equivalent van 150.000 ton kolen per jaar. Op dit moment is 90% van de kolen vervangen door alternatieve brandstoffen. Dit zijn brandstoffen gebaseerd op afval, zoals huishoudelijk afval, rioolslip en papierslip. Dit is mogelijk door de specifieke condities in een cementoven. Deze condities zorgen ervoor dat de emissies voor en na de introductie van de alternatieve brandstoffen gelijk zijn. En ze beloofden dat de emissies worden verminderd met 80% na de transformatie door te investeren in rookgasreinigingsinstallaties. Verder heeft het gebruik van 50% biomassa als alternatieve brandstof de koolstofdioxide footprint sterk vermindert. Deze oven geldt nu als de best practice oven in de wereld. The alternative fuels applied for cement production in Maastricht are certain household waste, industrial waste from paper production, sewage sludge, liquids like waste oil, and even old tires could be used. Using waste can be profitable. We will show you how this works. Fluff is a fraction of household waste which contains mainly paper and plastic residues. It's a waste stream from household waste treatment plants. This alternative fuel is transported to NC by trucks stored in a storage hall and by means of automatic cranes and an air pressure system supplied to the burners of the kiln. At a nearby paper production facility, a washing installation is used for recycled paper. 
This washing installation produces a waste stream of unusable paper. After drying the waste, it's pressed to pallets and becomes a valuable fuel. The pallets are stored and automatically transported to the burner supply system. In many processes, liquids remain as waste, like oils from cars and machines. Landfills are not accepting them, so other solutions need to be found. The high temperature process in the cement kiln is such a solution. The different liquids are stored in various tanks. Today, a tanker truck is used as storage, which allows for flexibility in storage capacity. In a densely populated country such as the Netherlands, there is a huge demand for clean water. The Dutch, therefore, do not wish to waste water. All over the country, you will find wastewater treatment plants, which clean the water coming from the sewers. With modern technology, the water can be purified. The sewage sludge contains a variety of materials, both organic and non-organic. For cement production, thus an ideal fuel. The sewage sludge is transported from the wastewater treatment plant by truck to the cement plant. Here it's pumped into silos. In the bio mill, the sewage sludge is grinded in order to be handled. After the processing, the fuels are stored in various silos. Another very interesting alternative fuel are tyres. In Maastricht, these are not applied as an alternative fuel, but in other cement plants they are. There are automatic systems available to inject these used tyres into the kiln, either as a complete tyre or shredded. All the alternative fuels are pumped through pipes directly from each storage to the burner in the kiln. Automatically controlled, this ensures a constant flow of alternative fuels. Er zijn op de markt heel veel verschillende soorten alternatieve brandstoffen. Voordat NCI deze materialen in zal zetten, gaat er een uitgebreide acceptatieprocedure aan vooraf. In deze acceptatieprocedure kijken wij naar drie dingen. De invloed op het milieu, de emissies, de invloed op ons proces en natuurlijk niet te vergeten de prijs. Maar het allerbelangrijkste voor de NCI blijft dat de productkwaliteit gehandhaafd blijft op een zeer hoog niveau. Waste streams can also be used to replace raw materials. One of the most important is blast furnace slag from steel production. The slag is dried before it's transported to the grinding mill, where it replaces clinker. This results in cement of a different quality, but still has broad applications. Anti wind door lagere brandstofkosten, de buren door een schonere lucht. En de autoriteiten winnen door dat in grote afvalstroom 100% wordt hergebruikt in de cementoven. The experiences of the Dutch over many years has proven this. Therefore, the Dutch government and its companies having these experiences welcome an exchange of these experiences to those interested all over the world to improve a sustainable environment for all.